And this, Parker, is a relic of my African adventures, an invaluable treasure of a lost culture which still flourishes at the headwaters of the White Nile. It nearly cost me my life to bring it back. But Mr. Aitken, what are these creatures? They look like men, yet their structure is so grotesque. I must get the whole story. When Ronald Parker, feature reporter for the Morning Star, was sent by his editor to interview wealthy, eccentric Carlson Aitken who had just returned from a safari in Central Africa, Parker scoffed. There is no news value in it. The old boy probably has some moth-eaten lion hunting tales. I am wasting my time. But he went, and the weird events which followed set in motion one of the strangest expeditions ever recorded. Just then the sirens of a test air raid alarm sounded. That knows. Sirens. Great heavens. No cover the panel quickly before it's too late. Uncle, what is it? Sit down. You are all wrong up. Yeah, hey, no, it's broken. My treasure is gone. It's shattered. What in the world was it made of? The glass dome of Kubla. The world must know. You must go to Nairobi, the headwaters of the White Nile. Oh. Ronald phoned for a doctor, but... It's too late. My uncle is dead. He must have had a stroke. Collapse completely like that glass case did. Look, Louise. The figures are only a small pile of glittering sand now. Later, when the doctor had finished his examination... As soon as the siren sounded, he had a convulsive fit and collapse. Most amazing. Look at his hands. The veins have disintegrated into a fine powdery dust like fine glass. I won't know what did it until we perform an autopsy. When Aiken's body had been removed... Aiken certainly had a story to tell the world. But I never did get it. This will haunt me the rest of my life unless I find out what caused his death. I am determined to unravel the mystery. I will go to Africa. To Nairobi. You can't go alone. This thing has started my feet itching to explore and find out things. If you are going to Africa, I am coming with you. I was hoping you would say that, Ronald. I will underwrite the whole trip. At the city desk of the Morning Star. It's the story of a lifetime. You can do a weekly spread of the exploration. And if I find what we are looking for, you will scoop the world. Fantastic. But I have faith in Eitken. He never toyed with the truth. All right, Ronnie. I will give you six months leave to find this Dome of Cobbler. A few days later. I am all set, Louise. I have worn up all my affairs and I am ready to leave. Wonderful. I have bought flight tickets to Egypt. We will leave in a week. A week later, aboard a plane heading for Egypt. Let's see, Louise. We will need more special equipment. A motor launch. A jumbo truck. Guides. I have cabled to Cairo. Everything should be ready when we arrive. At the Cairo airfield. I am Hassan, your guide. Happy to serve you. This is Feza. The best Perman on the Nile. Also, he knows Nairobi well. He served three expeditions with Americans. Yes, I have motor launch all set up with special supplies. Everything tip top, ready, Shane. Later at the Cairo dock. What is this for? Hassam, we are not going to a fire. Oh, Siren, him to scare wild beasts when we travel on land. Very practical. Four days they sailed up the great river which once had floated the ancient barks of Egyptian kings. From here we must use truck. River unnavigable. I do hope we find Cobble intact. Village after village was investigated, without a trace of the Dome of Cobbler. Seven hundred miles and no sign of the Cobbler Dome. Benny Callum Nobby Cobbler Nobby Nobby. What does he say, Festa? He say he never hear of Cobbler. I am beginning to believe the place doesn't exist. Come on, we have a desert ahead of us to cross. If nothing turns up after this, we are heading back. As they tore through the Nairobi desert. We cannot fight this sandstorm. We will be trapped. Turn around, head for the mountain pass to your right. As they clear the mountain pass. Look, it must be the dome. The dome of copper. It's breathtaking. We have found it at last. No wonder it's a lost civilization. How could anyone find it in this desert? It looks deserted. But these glass guards are terrifying. Just like the figures in my uncle's glass case. Statues cannot harm us, Louise. Let's go inside. 
but as they entered the palace. I seize the intruders of the palace of Kubla. Bring them before the king. They have come to life. Across sound deadening layers of spun glass, the party was led. Bring the strange creatures forward. We have expected you. What does that mean, Ronald? They can't have known we were coming. Once a strange old man came here named Aid Ken. He stole one of our glorious panels and escaped. We knew that now others from the outside world would come when he told them of the Great Dome of Kubla. Iken is dead. He paid with his life for learning about this secret palace. We want no contact with the barbarians of the outer world. You shall not escape by Gate Ken. You will become my subjects, like these slaves who serve us. Take them away. But as the guards let them... Our eye have made a terrible noise. May Kubla have mercy on me. They are petrified. They are afraid of the least sound. But why? Forgive me. I meant no harm. Let me live. You have violated our secret law and imperiled our existence. Away to the sound chamber with him, and let these our world creatures witness the punishment. In a large antechamber of the palace. Look a completely glass fiber insulated cell. When the king pulls the bell rope, the guard will go mad. His doom will be sounded. Melox, Alaka, dust to dust. Melox, Alec, dust to dust. Great is copper. The guard is breaking apart, just like the glass case at home. It's the noise that does it. Their body are terribly sensitive to noise. When the guard had been reduced to a mass of dust. And the same shall happen to you, once we have prepared your bodies for annihilation. No. No, I don't want to die like that. Let us go. We will never return to this cursed place again. Here you stay, until King Kubla is ready for you. Hello, we are lost. There is no escape. Cursed be the day I started on this trip. Later. Here. Let it not be said that we are cruel to our prisoners. Drink and refresh yourselves. I know trust them. We have no idea what that liquid is. No. Don't drink it. It will reduce you to silicon men. That is what they want. But I am thirsty. Sooner or later you will be famished. Then you will drink. Ha ha ha. That is what happened to Carlton Eichen. I don't know how much of this stuff he took, but it was enough to kill him. Don't touch it. Days passed and hunger and thirst gnawed at the prisoners. Ronald, I don't know how much longer I can hold out. I am parched. Completely dehydrated. Fraser, I cannot stand this. I must drink. I am out of my mind with thirst. Late that night. I made a crude bell out of my cigarette case and a belt buckle. We must have a chance even if the sound only stuns them. It may give us a break to escape. Biola, it is better than wasting away here. Waiting for death. When the guards presented the food the next day. We have decided to take food. Tell the king we have submitted. Ah, that is more like it. I knew you would be forced to yield. Now, let them have it. You know, he had a noise. It is driving me mad. Hurry, it only stuns them. We must find the exit before they become accustomed to the bell. Yeah, for the prisoners are escaping. They have a deadly instrument with them. This way, they are still stunned. We can make it. They must not escape. After them, hurl your spears. Kill, kill. They are gaining on us. Oh, Ronald, we will never make it to the truck. Don't give up now, Louise. The truck isn't far from the exit. The truck. I must make the siren work. We will be free of these silicon horrors. Ronald, help me. Here we are lost. They are cracking, disintegrating. Louise is safe, but Hassam and Fezja are rising in agony. The whole palace is crumbling to ruin. The dome of Kubla is gone. Yes, and poor Hassam and Fezda are dead. They must have drunk the deadly potion just as my uncle did. The noise killed them. As they left the scene of desolation. An empire crumbled to sand. There is nothing left to bring back to civilization. But at least we have escaped unharmed. And we are going back together. That is more important than anything else. The end. You have violated our secret law and imperiled our existence by not subscribing, commenting, and smashing that like button. It's an outrage.